اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم لا اقسم بحاظ البلد وان تحل بحاظ البلد والد و مبلد لقد خلقنا الانسان فی قبت یا سبو اللہ یقدر علی احد یقول احلق تمال اللہ بد صدق اللہ العلی العظیم السلام علیکم ایم ٹاکنگ ٹو سیکنڈ فرسٹ ایر کلاس لیکچر نمبر فور این ٹوڈے ای ویل ٹیل یو ہاو دا سیلز ایلو سم مالیکولز ٹو انٹر این سم مالیکولز will not be able to enter into the cell and cell surface markers a very important uh, term marker you use marker to write you use marker to solve paper painter use marker to paint the headings of the shop that which type of the shop that is each shopkeeper has banner that which type of uh, work he is doing barber shop barber shop similarly cloth shop will write my cloth shop markers will identify which type of business that is similarly the markers nature has made the markers in the cell to identify that which type of the cell that is you may be thinking sir all cells are same no all cells are not same each cell is different how cells become different that is long discussion we'll do in next lectures how a normal cell a basic cell become very complicated cell very important uh, cell i am naming now which is moving from your brain to the bottom of your feet this cell which is coming from your brain to going to the bottom of the feet that is one cell oh that is one cell that is just like in the form of the fiber neuron it's a very long cell of course it is a long cell how it is modified how it is modified it is modified to perform the function it means that the cell changes the shape changes the structure changes the shape according to function the function will change the structure will change long cell of the neuron will contract the message and the cell which is present in your heart will contract the heart will pump the heart the cells will change the shape this process name i just uh, i did not want to tell you but i am telling you we te i teach you in the next lectures differentiation the term d i w f e r e n t i a t i u n don't worry that is the process simple cell become complicated cell you have seven type of cells and you are in the laboratory just want to identify that which type of the cell you are talking about neuron is there stomach cell is there cardiac cell is there your skin cell epidermal cell is there your kidney nephron cell is there your your lungs alveoli cell is there you just want to identify which type of the cell which type of the cell you have how you will identify you will identify by cell surface markers now question is sir what is this marker is that black marker is this red marker it is a, a, a it's a it's a pink marker it is a white marker no this is not the marker which you are using these are molecules these are simple molecules nature selected chemical molecules which will separate each molecule cell from others just like i was telling you that you call one person may bring cup of tea for me cell cannot tell that bring cup of tea for me cell will make different amino acid and different amino acid one amino acid is different from other one protein is different from the others little sequence change another protein is formed so by changing the protein structure it will order the subordinate bring that it will cell will not speak cell want we i uh, cell want we should uh, we uh, become ill the so cell will create that protein which will make a cell cell want any significant change in, in our body that protein will be formed that specifically specific that significant change will be present in the body it means that cell is different in producing different chemicals different molecules each cell is different from others this is amazing that yes of course we were composed of simple cells then we were uh, formed uh, uh, in 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 embryonic stage when the fetus human fetus was developing it was with the simple cells but it was comp it became complicated when it became complicated because to perform different functions to perform different functions neuron conduct the message 
the nephrons will filter the filter the water filter the will filter the filter the water filter the urine remove the nitrogenous waste component alveoli cell will exchange the gases so different cells performing different functions and they will carry the different chemicals and they will be identified by the different cell surface markers i am in cell surface markers i will not diversify my topic because long discussions are to be held in the coming lectures i will tell the, the cell surface markers i am using one term i use this term in the 10th class you remember me if you are my student you will remember the conjugated molecules the conjugated molecule do you remember yes two organic molecules combine to form conjugated molecule i will tell you what are conjugated molecules later on but i am telling you cell surface markers will identify the cell i have neuron i have nephron i am alveoli cell they are very small we are in a pathological lab i just want to identify which type of the cell i am checking how i will identify i will check the cell surface markers which markers molecules which type of molecules are conjugated molecules one organic molecule combined with the other organic molecule that is called as a conjugated molecule which conjugated molecule is involved in the cell surface markers yes this is important question and that question will be clear from here yes from here two markers i am telling glycolipids glycoprotein they are the cell surface markers they are the cell surface markers see them they are the cell surface markers glycolipids and the glycoprotein they are the cell surface markers and these cell surface markers which are the glycolipids and the glycoprotein glycolipids and glycoprotein glycolipids this is the one marker this is another marker glycolipids glycoprotein they will recognize they will recognize by 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 this by their presence the cell will be recognized that which type of the cell that is another thing about uh, the cell membrane importance that it will cre create it will consist of receptor molecules receptor molecules what are receptor molecules many chemicals will be present in the cell membrane some molecules will be able to bind some molecules will not be able to bind it means that this cell membrane will not accept each molecule some molecules will be able to enter into the cell some molecules will not be able enter, uh, to enter into the cell that's why two type of proteins will be present two type of proteins look here the two proteins which i just wanted to show one carrier protein a channel protein and carrier protein in carrier protein just see in carrier protein you just see molecules are attached with that protein molecules are attached with the protein when molecules will attach with the protein that is the carrier protein that is the carrier protein when it will attach with the protein that is the carrier protein this is the cell membrane this is the cell membrane and this is the molecule and is attaching with the carrier protein it will attach mean this molecule is facilitating the movement of the molecule from outside to inside inside the cell it means this molecule cannot enter directly when molecule cannot enter directly it means that this molecule needs some help who will help this molecule this carrier protein molecule will help and this carrier protein will allow this molecule to react with the carrier protein and then this molecule will enter into the cell and due to which what happens due to which what happens due to which what happens the molecule will cause changes in the cell so if the cell want some changes it will receive some molecules from outside which is required all molecules cannot enter the molecule which that cell require cell is the owner cell is the owner of the house and that is the door and only molecule only person can enter which is required by the cell simple is that now go back if uh, our cell want uh, any other molecules to enter how it will enter by channel by channel just way no need to react with the protein molecule no need to react with the protein molecule just the molecule will react with this one this one mean the gap that is the channel and between the two protein the channel is present the gap is present this channel this gap will allow the molecules to enter from outside to inside 
and this channel protein is important in the sense that will allow only molecules which are required by the cell all molecules cannot enter only the molecules which are required by the cell so over cell membrane is doing multiple functions antigen a term which we are going to speak almost two years a protein many type of antigens but I am now talking about the antigens which is linked with the cell membrane what will happen one is a bacteria one is a bacterial antigen you have to a little a bit uh, open your mind because these things uh, may give you trouble because you may ask the question for, from yourself sir antigen A blood group A antigen B blood group B one antigen is that now you are telling bacterial antigen so what how many type of antigens present I will tell you the parasite which is the bacteria which is a virus which is something else which is coming from the outside that also consists of a protein antigen is nothing that is protein that is bacterial antigen and one is the antigen which your red blood cells consist of antigen A, antigen B, antigen A, blood group A, antigen B, antigen B, blood group B. So I am talking about cell membrane. This antigen will identify identification of the antigen, identification of the antigen, identification of the bacteria, which cells I am talking about immunity system your immunity system last chapter will in much detail i will explain some lymphocytes those lymphocytes leukocytes cytokines these type of cells will identify the antigens which is coming from the outside which is coming from the outside those antigens which are those antigens which are coming from the outside that will be referred as foreign antigen the bacterial antigen the foreign antigen the foreign antigen and the bacterial antigen are important because the bacterial antigen, the foreign antigen will carry foreign antigen or bacterial antigen will be identified by over cells of immunity system. The leukocytes or lymphocytes B, lymphocyte T, they will identify that which type of antigen is going into the body. So if parasite, even coronavirus, even some bacteria will enter into the body, what will happen over body cells? Our immunity system cells will try to reach to understand to read that antigen and that antigen which is a foreign antigen which is a basically bacteria don't worry that is bacteria your body cell membrane will this cell membrane will decide the cell membrane will study the cell membrane will identify and this cell membrane will identify an identification of this foreign antigen will be done by immunity system in type of cells lymphocyte B, lymphocyte T, leukocytes and cytokines. So what the point I want to tell you now students that antigen some proteins are antigen. So it is clear no need to confuse that antigen is nothing that is protein and that is different protein, different type of the protein. It enable to identify recognize the cell. It enable to recognize the foreign antigen it able to recognize the which type of antigen is coming so your immunity is talking about your immunity system that your immunity system when any foreign terrorist enter into your body your cell membrane antigen will become active and they will identify that bacteria I mean foreign antigen which type of antigen has entered your cell membrane antigen will identify now this thing important receptor cells I was uh, very happy to tell you that you are lucky in the sense that your all cells consist of specific receptor cells mean all harmful chemicals all harmful chemicals all harmful even parasites they are un they are unable to go directly into your bod body and they are unable to go directly into your cell body they may enter in the blood they may be entering in the plasma they may be enter liquid part of the blood is called plasma but they may not be able to enter into into your cell directly reason because your receptor molecule these receptor molecules these receptor molecules only can receive the receptors which is required by the cell 
in the nervous system in the second year i will tell you that this receptor which is coming like hormones like any chemicals enzymes they will attach with the cell membrane then it will form a complex secondary receptors will tell you in that chapter but i am just making pressy that one receptor mean that receptor molecule will receive when when any message come from a uh, uh, nervous system or any chemical come it will receive it will be received by receptor molecule in cell membrane when cell membrane receive then it will carry a mechanism inside the cytoplasm i will teach that mechanism then secondary action take place then that cell will receive the message to uh, secrete anything like insulin if your pancreas lablaba is not secreting insulin it mean that that cell is not getting secondary stimulus it is not getting the it is receptor molecules are not properly working and the message which is coming from the nervous system or message coming from the blood that glucose level is uh, glucose level is more and we have to digest and may not be able to receive the pancreas cells will not receive the message receptor cells will be weak and they will not carry on the secondary mechanism and they will not be carried out to motivate the beta cells of pancreas to secrete the insulin and there are lot of other mechanism like glucagon secretion adrenal line secretion noradrenal line secretion uh, corticosterone uh, secretion i am speaking hormones name don't worry adenocorticotrophic hormone secretion uh, uh, parathormone secretion calcitonin secretion and your estrogen progesterone testosterone and lot luteinizing hormone follicle stimulating hormones of a lot of bundles of prolactin oxytocin these all hormones secondary stimulus is required when secondary stimulus will be required for example ovary is a reproductive structure in the female ovary will secrete estrogen progesterone only when ovary wall will receive the receptor molecules and that molecule will attach with the receptor now you will be thinking sir any other molecule will also receive that molecule it will start secreting estrogen uh, like any other nephron or any other body cell even in the males uh, uh, the cells may start receiving the receptor no ovary cell will receive specific receptor molecule that is the point receptor molecules mean it is making each individual diff like you all individuals are different it make all cells different from each other each cell will receive the different receptor molecule it will perform different that's why your all body is performing different function nef nef neurons different function nephron different function yes. spermatogenesis different function oogenesis different function that is being performed I am giving you today a breaking news because normally you know Golgi bodies secrete enzymes. You are studying in each book Golgi bodies secrete enzymes. That is the enzyme factory because they are getting the protein from the endoplasmic reticulum. I am giving you breaking news. Enzymes can also be produced by cell membrane, but not all enzymes. Very uh, emergency enzymes. These are emergency enzymes. And uh, I just will tell you an enzyme called adenylate cyclase. Adenylate cyclase. Why I am telling emergency enzymes? Because it will do that function that other enzymes cannot do. Other enzymes cannot do that function. Aden adenylate cyclase. Adenylate cyclase. That enzyme. That will carry out, that is the second, that will carry out secondary messenger. If you see, they will convert the ATR linked with the ATP. They will change the ATP into cyclic AMP. ATP is energy packets in your body. You studied in 10th class. Linked with energy, everything important. I will tell you importance of this enzyme. If this enzyme is not present, we, are, we have no more energy. Because that energy will not be broken down into cyclic AMP and that will not be used as a... Uh, in uh, to produce uh, to do our body activities so we go back to now glycolipid i will repeat glycolipid glycoprotein are cell surface markers they are cell surface markers they are cell surface markers and what is the function of cell surface markers they will identify the cell they will identify the cell each cell will be identified by the cell surface markers and cell membrane can form enzymes today you know and example adenylate cyclase adenylate cyclase important function atp to amp why this is important conversion is important in the next topics i will tell you but you must know atp is the small pack if i am speaking i am breaking my atp molecule 
I have energy in my pockets. I am speaking. I will have no ATP. I will not uh, be able to speak, and I will not be uh, be able to consume any type of activity, body activities. These are the storage house in your body. Even you, we, I am not eating now. I am speaking. How it is possible? If I am eating and I am speaking, that is possible. I uh, ate uh, at lunch, and now this is night time. So I did not have dinner yet. So I am speaking. Why? Because my energy was stored in the form of ATP. That energy I am using. So energy can be stored in my in, in our body. And door of the cell is knocked. Antigen cross changes. Amazing. 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 Door of your house is knocked. Guest will come. Door of the cell is knocked. And antigen cross changes. Then the guest. You will allow all people to enter into your house. No. Some relatives will be able to enter. some relatives will be able to enter some uh, uh, your close friends will be able to enter the family members will be able to enter all people will not be able to enter into your house so what will happen they will knock your house they will enter and they will cause significant change mean they will make you happy or they will make you sad because you know lot of relatives will give you any adverse news as that your kid does uh, your kid is not getting good marks and they may desert you if your kid does getting good marks that's good if if that is not successful to so might be they desert your parents so definitely students you will not allow uh, people to speak uh, uh, adversely in your house if you will get first positions and you will get your achievements you will become a professional person and definitely the people will come to your house and they will appreciate your parents otherwise your parents will hide the things and uh, that will be real uh, a matter for your parents and yourself as well okay you go antigens are hormones i already told you the chemicals they will go will touch the cell membrane will make the secondary response i have to teach the secondary response yes don't worry i have to deliver lectures upon what is secondary response knock the door yani guest enters ring the bell now when it will enter the house what secondary response he will do what good thing he will speak what the bad thing he will speak in front of your parents similarly in front of the cell that is the secondary response we have to discuss go back to channel protein provide the way channel protein provide the way that is the way between the channel protein cell surface markers identify the cells cell surface markers is clear and wo important thing that channel protein give the way carrier protein attach with the protein molecule and that will not give the way that will react with the protein molecule objective is same to enter that molecule into cell because cell allows only those guests which are required by the cell only those molecules which are required by the cell thank you very much